Hey what's up guys, this is Grant's Comics and today we're going to review me Spider-Man number 800 which is um which is um Alex Ross's last um cover art on Spider-Man which this is the comic I really really wanted just because of the comic design it looks really cool it's all red which is my favorite color and it has um, the red goblin on the front and it has like like um, Harry Osborn at me Betty um, and on this side if you guys can see John Jonah Jameson Mary Jane and Miles Morales so um, the cover is cool um, this is the last um, um, Alex Ross cover that he's gonna do on Spider-Man, which I'm sad about because I love Alex Ross. He's one of my favorite um, cover artists. And so this is this is about this is a lot of action. So it's about um, the so Norman Osborn, which is everyone knows the Green Goblin, got a symbiote, got attached to his Carnage symbiote which um he that's how he becomes the Red Goblin and Carnage is one of my favorite Spider-Man villains ever and this is another reason why I love this this uh, book uh, I have 795 795 which I did review last time and I want to get and on last on that review I said I want to get 796 797 798 and 799 to finish the whole Red Goblin series and because that series has Alex Ross's um, cover art and um, so anyway this is about um, how Spider-Man there's Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales is Spider-Man Silk and Agent Venom which is Flash Thompson if you guys didn't know Flash Thompson was Spider-Man or Peter Parker's high school rival back way back in the 60s and he is basically now a superhero called Agent Venom or Anti-Venom I should say but this book goes by chapters I think I believe has six chapters in this book and it has 80 80 pages in one story no holds barred um but so they're fighting, they're trying to fight, fight the Red Goblin. They're trying to, um, um, the Red Goblin kills off everybody except Spider-Man. So Spider-Man's on his own trying to, um, fight the Red Goblin. And, um, all, through all these six chapters, he's fighting the Red Goblin because the Red Goblin is trying to kill everyone that's, um, that... Spider-Man knows because he knows he's who Spider-Man is. He goes for Aunt May, Mary Jane, and all all his um all his love, beloved family and friends. So Spider-Man kind of follows him around, and um, he also takes he also takes um, Harry Osborn's son Normie and turns him into a Red Goblin as well. So him and Normie teams up for a little bit until Spider-Man um, takes Normie back to Oscorp and turns him back to normal so um, after that he, Normie gets back to normal safe and sound and Spider-Man gets to back to Red Goblin he tells Red Goblin we need you to break off the symbiote it's not good for you I wore the Venom symbiote the, before it felt good but you have to get rid of it and then eventually towards the end um, Red Goblin turns back to Norman Osborn which is, he turns back to the original Green Goblin and every turn, everything turns out well so um, that's all I want to say all I want to say is this is a cool cover love Alex Ross's cover one of my favorite comics that I got for in like ever other than that give this a thumbs up and